spectacular sailing and the boats really come alive downwind in these conditions. You're just ripping downwind, surfing waves. They get up and go pretty good. This is a 44 foot boat that sails like a 505. The RC44 is light, lively, and a truckload of fun. We're at the fourth event here in Valencia. It's always good to come back here. The sailing conditions are fantastic. And our forecast for the next few days is very good. A building sea breeze today in the sort of 15 knot range and a bit more tomorrow, maybe up into the 20s. The RC44 fleet is going to get right off the beach. It's quite a different race course to what we're used to, but still, you know, we know what the sea breeze does around here. Our results are five wins from five races and you know that sums up the day. I mean obviously a pretty good day and this is probably one of the windier days of match racing that we've done and you know it's more about sailing the boat well and and uh, trying to get the side that you want in the start and going from there. The forecast is for another good sea breeze day here in Valencia so it'll be a lot of fun sailing like yesterday, a lot of uh, fast downwind planing and um, kind of a high demand on crew work which is fun and exciting for everybody. So uh, we're looking to have a good day and um, see where it stands at the end. A couple of tight crosses, that's for sure, from both boats, you know. Both boats are pushing it really hard, and uh, which is what you have to do in this game. You know, it's hard to sail as well as we did yesterday, but we didn't sail much differently today, but it's those little subtle things that, you know, bit us a little bit. We were at the uh, TP52 regatta last week, and the competition there was very, very high. And so you leave one regatta and you come here and the competition seems like it's even higher. And uh, which is hard to believe, but it's really, really good sailing. Artemis was uh, for sure the, the first match that we had to get past and uh, was the difference between a, a pre-start penalty that uh, got us a win. Then we sort of knew, well, now it's Oracle and us uh, are only one loss and this is it, we've got to beat them. You know, all in all we're pleased and uh, you know, we're absolutely wrapped and you know, now we've, um, we've been on form for three regattas, it's quite a good feeling. I'm looking forward for sailing in these conditions. It's a great venue, excellent wind, interesting uh, with waves getting bigger and bigger uh, during the day. So I'm looking forward for it. We were coming in on starboard. Uh, 17 was on port. 
which in, under the rules he has to allow us to give, give room so that we can round the mark. He didn't, so we were faced with a decision, do we hit him or do we hit the mark? We didn't think there was an overlap, they did. Uh, we rounded the mark, the umpires um, penalised us. We did our turn and C-Ref just got too close to the mark and hooked it. Better decision to hit the mark than him. 17 got penalised by the umpires, but unfortunately, them forcing us into the mark got the mark wrapped around our keel. So then we had to back down and get it off our keel. So we, bas we went from fourth to, to last, really no fault of our own. Today was great, it's as, as good as it gets. We're good surfing rides downwind, your know, boat speed is up to sort of 15, 16 knots, so um, these boats were lighting up and uh, the Valencia at its best. I know that we're running out of energy on the boat, but I would have done another race again. I loved it. It was perfect. I think we had uh, excellent speed downwind and uh, it was really fun. Well, yesterday, you know, we just continued on with a with a really good performance, and um, we had a nine point day, and Artemis had a seven point day, and and uh, I think the guys on seventeen were fifteen points for the day. So basically, that's what really flipped the uh, the results around um, for the three of us. As we discussed after the match racing, there is no second place, right? So it's a uh, that's certainly the mindset, and uh, you know, but they're sailing well, and so you have to give them credit for that. And, yeah, but they still have to sail well today. Artemis is four points behind us today and you know they're a very strong team and we'd like to beat them because uh, not only winning the fleet racing and beating them will mean we get the overall but if uh, they win the fleet racing and we come second then they get the overall so you know, there's more, more on the stakes than just, just the fleet racing right now. We had an unbelievably bad start. We got jammed up by No Way Back and then because we were high, we were slow, the guys to windward all came through and just rolled over the top and we couldn't get going. So, uh, you know, we just, I think we held our composure and just said, oh, well, we're here now, let's uh, just battle back. Pretty much every leg we made just one or two boats and just sort of chipped away at it. It was a big opportunity and um, I'd say we made the most of it. They did great work to get back to fifth, so that uh, put us two points back going into the last race and both boats executed their game plans and the left side was one length stronger than the right side and that was pretty much it. I mean, you take your hats off to the team on Aqua, they sailed a really, really solid series both in the match racing and the fleet racing here. We've uh, come away with, with two wins in the overall, we're unbelievably blown away. Yeah, I mean the team. Uh, you know, really pleased to see the uh, the spirit on board. Um, everyone knew their job, and uh, they just did it, and and it was a great result.